Good day, traders. How are you? Rick here with Hit Run Candlesticks. This is Thursday, February 18, 2021. <laughs> um, I've got the T2122 chart up here uh, on the screen. And uh, every time I show this, I always get a, a question, what program I, am I using? And this is TC2000, if you're interested. Um, you can check below in the chat. Uh, and uh, you'll see a link. Uh, if you're interested in trying TC2000 out, <clears throat> I've used it for a long, long time and absolutely love it. Uh, anyway, the T2122 is a four-week new high-low ratio. And I've got uh, this chart set up to the 130-minute uh, chart or a three-bar chart is what, uh, is what it is. Well, that's what we call it. The trendicator is the green dots and red dots. And the yellow line just represents the the the, the ratio, the, the four week new high new, new low ratio, and you can see that we started to roll over underneath the trendicator right in here. We rallied up and we couldn't push through, and you can see we just continued to move to the downside, and the trendicator is still pointing to the downside. <clears throat> what I'm concerned with uh, with, with this. Uh, chart here is that okay yeah we rally up but what if we run into that that those red dots again and what if we pull back down and maybe we do it again and maybe we do it again all the way down in here into the uh, oversold area so I'm just being a little cautious with any bullishness going into the market uh, just watch for that possible sell-off as we move into some bullishness here so uh, anyway, just, just something I'm keeping an eye on. All right, let's go take a look at <clears throat> the market here. Um, uh, looking at the daily chart, you can see that we've, we've got a little toppy. You see that we've pulled back a little bit. We are holding above the trendicator on the daily chart. And we did close back above the T-line today after uh, slipping down below it here uh, earlier today. Now... This this seems uh, good. It seems nice. Uh, nice rally up. Okay, little negative price action going on. Sellers are taking control. And it does seem pretty good, but a couple things I want to point out. And I'm just trying to be cautious. Overall, I'm still bullish. This chart is still uh, a bullish chart as far as price, the T-line, and, and the trend indicator goes. But one thing I want to point out here, we have a high... Let me get my crayons out. Here we go. We have a high. We have a lower high. And yet a lower high. We, we have a low. A lower low. And yet a lower low. So really, what we've got is a downtrend here. Yeah, we're coming back up toward the end of the day. Showing a little, little strength. But not enough strength to take out one of these highs. And the weakness early in the morning or in the early half of the day, seems to drive us to new lows. So I think we need to be a little cautious with that. Let's take a look at the three-bar chart. And it's very interesting here. <clears throat> we did today exactly what we did yesterday. We gapped down, gapped down. Um, we ended up uh, the next, the third, the second bar of the day yesterday, uh, right here, Turned out to be bullish. We opened up and then closed over the body of the previous day. Well, that's exactly what we did right here. Same thing. And then yesterday, we rallied up. Everything looking rosy. And then we gapped down today. Well, look what we did today. Almost the same thing. Except we did not close over the T-line up here. In fact, we put a high wick up here. So let's um, just as we did on the daily chart let's draw a line down like this maybe I didn't do it on the daily chart um, from those lows down and you see that we need to clear that we need to clear that before we can we can uh, see any bullish so we've got a, a high a low a lower high a lower low and yet a lower high so again this needs to be solved the bulls need to come in here and thump the bears and just create that higher high and a higher low 
And that's something they haven't done yet. Now, it could certainly happen tomorrow. And we could see that move to the downside tomorrow. So lots of caution here. Um, and tomorrow being Friday, we want to make sure that uh, whatever we hold over the weekend, um, be sure we want to do that. Uh, so just something to think about. All right. We're going to go take a look at some uh, trades that I have for the watch list. I'm going to grab a real quick drink of water, and I'll be right back. Okay, thanks for your patience. Hey, before we get started on this, uh, I, 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 keep, I keep getting asked, and honestly, I kind of forget. So I made some notes and uh, to remind me here. So I want to uh, bring this up and talk about it. The... Um, the road to wealth account uh, i get a lot of people asking you know an update on it and and whatnot so that's what i'm going to try to do on these videos just a really quick short update uh, i want to bring over a picture of the road to wealth account uh, right in here so we ended last month with just over twenty nine thousand dollars so let's this month has been going pretty good into the last couple days and we've actually seen a uh, loss the last couple of days. That's another thing. I get asked all the time, do we ever, uh, do we ever have losses? <laughs> Absolutely. Between yesterday and today, I think we're down something like $3,500. But uh, that's okay because we were up a lot. So, you know, I don't like to see it, but hey, it happens. Not everybody wins every trade every day or every week. So we're, we had a... The last couple days, we've we've had uh, some losses here, but we're still up over uh, last month's numbers, uh, almost ten, well, maybe yeah, maybe ten percent here. So we're still doing quite well uh, with that. Uh, and again, if anyone would like to go check this out, uh, we we update this every month. You can just uh, go to the website and under trading results here. Um, also, too, uh, if we, we, you know, to prove that this is real, uh, we, if you come down here, we post our statement. This is the cover page of our statement showing the account and how it's done. So uh, you're able to see that. And of course, if you're interested in our 30 day trial, right in there is a 30 day trial. Uh, so that's a little update on the account itself. Um, today, we actually closed out CGC with a loss. Uh, my stop was in here at $38.15. And uh, toward the end of the day, when I could see that it was just not going to come back up, then I ended up closing it out because it really looks like it's headed down toward that 50-period moving average. Um, our CCL, we're just going to look at a couple of these. Uh, we bought this yesterday. I closed half of it off up here. And uh, it just, the second half we're still holding. That looks like it's holding up just fine. So we're going to stay with that and uh, see if that doesn't break out and move to some new highs. Uh, we did buy a little Bank of America today, uh, right in here. Uh, put a little line right there. Uh, we bought a little Bank of America today, and I've been added to it toward the end of the day here. And we'll just watch what that does as. Um, the rest of the week and next week goes. All right, let's take a look at some charts here. X C L S X. Again, I want to thank everyone from the trading room. Uh, you guys uh, appreciate it. You posted out some charts today. Some were great, and uh, some I'm using here on the list um, as uh, the trade ideas. So I really, really do appreciate all the help from everybody in the trading room. Okay, so um, this CLSK, check out the volume on this thing. Monster volume and uh, nice uptrend, little toppy, profit taking, kind of wobbles around down here. And now it's starting to move up again with today's huge candle. This thing's up almost 26%. That's crazy. So, what I'm looking for is a little consolidation uh, into this area. So, uh, what we might look for is something like this. Uh, come back and rest. Might take one day, two days. Who knows? It might take 10 days. Really don't know how long it's going to take. What I do know is I'm going to put this on our live trading alert scanner. 
and we're going to wait for signs of bullishness and or a breakout. And then that's where we will uh, decide where, when and where we want to buy this chart. And when we do, we'll put a stop on uh, in an, appro in an uh, 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 appropriate spot um, based on our uh, trading rules and how much risk we want to put on. Uh, save. This is an awfully nice looking chart. Uh, this is an, a J hook continuation pattern. Let me draw this out real quick for you. Uh, there's the J. That's what the J looks like. And when it breaks out this high right in here, when it breaks out, that's when that's when it officially becomes a J hook continuation pattern. Uh, so what I'm looking for here is just a little bit of consolidation. I could probably tighten this up a little bit. I'm going to raise it just a little bit. There we go. There we go. So what I'm going to look for on this is um, the same thing we always do. You know, bullish trending charts. We're going to look for that for that consolidation. Uh, the consolidation can be uh, just straight across. The consolidation can be all the way back down. And then we'll just wait for those signals, those little buy signals that come in. We'll buy in here or possibly a breakout. Um, we'll put our stop in uh, to protect any kind of uh, whoops. And uh, we'll uh, always be taking profits into strength. So once this is bought, if we buy it, as it moves up, we'll take profits into strength. Uh, MU, nice chart here. A couple people bought this in the room today. I came close, but I just decided this market is too wacky right now. Um, and I just felt that it was probably best to sit back a little bit, not buy anything else. I did add uh, to a couple, but uh, 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 did not want to put more positions on. Uh, so here, nice little breakout. Here's a little pullback. We've got that morning star signal uh, going in here. And look how this just went from a low to a high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low. Very nice chart. We can put this line up here too, right there. You see that we've broken out. We've broken out. We're testing. Uh, so this has got some, this has got some good potential. Let's take a look at that uh, volume. Volume is up. So I'm thinking. I like the idea of a buy in this area um, with a uh, possible buy on a breakout. And then we'll, again, take profits on the way up based on our goals uh, that we've set for doubling our account. Uh, IQ. Take a look at IQ here. Talking about a, a belt hold. My goodness sakes. Um, massive belt hold here. Now... I, I've got this blue line drawn up here, and the reason I have that line is, let's go to a weekly chart. Look at that weekly chart. So I'm actually looking for a trade on a breakout. I'm not looking for it down here. I'm looking for a breakout. So what I'm going to need to see is uh, that bullishness up, and then pull back, give us that rest, and then we'll look for those buying candles uh, that show up. Let's go back to that daily chart. So above about 26 bucks here, I'm going to look at buying that. Uh, so what I'm going to need to see, basically need to see is that belt hold. Just get right on up there. Show me you've got what it takes to follow through. Get up into this area here. We'll look at buying it. And then um, you can see over here, this might jump up uh, back to retest these highs. Um, way, what, back in 2018, my goodness, uh, $46. So, um not quite a double, but uh, awfully darn close to it. Um, DocuSign. Everybody, one of everybody's favorite charts these days, uh, DocuSign. Ended up with a bullish engulf today. Uh, so far, the trend is holding, uh, holding above the trend indicator here. That's working. And on DocuSign, I'm kind of thinking a breakout here. So uh, I'm going to look for something on a breakout. Yeah, I like that. Look for that breakout. So what we'll have here is uh, where we pop up and we come back. We test a little bit or just 
just go sideways and then we'll be watching for those green uh, candles you know candles that look like this right here like this like this those bullish candles and that's what will get us into the chart and again we'll use our alert system uh, that we use from live trading alerts to help us uh, to um, identify those it'll it'll alert us when they're happening we can go look at the chart and then we can decide whether we want to buy it or not uh, smar nice 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 j hook continuation pattern nice little rally up here uh you know i think i want to draw a line yeah well i just wanted to make sure that breakout it did so uh nice little rally up on the breakout and then here we've pulled back bullish in golf today hammer yesterday maybe looking for something inside this area here uh, the buy zone, that's what the green box is. Uh, and then uh, if we buy it, what we'll do is we will put the stop in there accordingly. And then as it starts to move up, well, we'll just take profits on the way up. Uh, DRI also setting up. Doji, bullish, and golf. What a great combination. Two candles together. Uh, terrific combination. And then look at the volume down here. Massive volume. Uh, so, uh, really what I'd like to see is some follow-through. Now, it's possible we buy down into this area here. But really what I'm looking for is a breakout uh, of this candle, the body. And that would give me the uh, clue that the bulls are still uh, interested in this. Now, as far as these highs go, we're going to have to make sure we clear those highs. So, what, what actually may happen here is... Maybe, we, I, I mean, I can't predict that I'm going to buy this tonight. I can't, I can't predict that, yeah, we're going to buy this tomorrow. We're going to buy it Monday or Tuesday. I can't predict that. One, I don't know what the market is going to do. And two, I really don't know what this candle is going to do. Not 100%. So there's a chance we just miss everything in here, which that's not going to break my heart. Let it break out. We may look at that Look at the buy here on a breakout. Uh, we don't need to buy it low to make money. Uh, you don't need that at all. Uh, that simple breakout, and then we'll trade the rally uh, to the upside. Coke. For those in Coke, congratulations. We talked about this a week ago. And for those that uh, might, have, might be trading this, uh, again, congratulations. Uh, I never did buy it. And it sure is looking good here, and it just it just really look look really looking good today. Uh, so we've got this. If we go back three bars, this this candle here uh, down to this one, and then up to this one, we have this uh, kind of a morning star pattern. And when we break out of this bar's body, that's where I get a little excited about the chart. And I think that's kind of a bullish move. I like that. Uh, we do have the 50-period moving average, and that's this blue line right here. So I'm just not interested in buying it right now until it can prove to me it can do something uh, over that 50. So that's why I've just put this circle in here just to kind of remind me. Uh, so really what I'm looking for is that breakout, pullback, test, buyers coming in, and then I'll look for that trade. But for those that are in it, congratulations. Sweet move so far. Um, MGM. I, I, I had this uh, all loaded up. I was ready to buy this uh, at the close today. And then I just decided, no. You know what? This market has been uh, trash for the last uh, couple days. And uh, why, why reach out there and do that? Why not just wait till tomorrow see what the market does, or maybe wait till next week and see what the market does. Um, I don't have to be in a hurry. Uh, besides, this thing is still in a downtrend right here. So really, this is, this is the kind of stuff that goes through my mind as I'm starting to buy something. I, I, I literally talk myself out of buying this, and, uh, which is okay. I mean, if it moves up, I'm not too worried about it. Uh, it's, we're not in the business of picking bottoms or picking tops. We're in the business of taking a chunk out of the middle. And if, uh, you know, if I miss that bottom, like maybe here, all I need to do is take a chunk out of the middle and make ample money, absolutely plenty of money. So 
uh, I don't need to buy it here. Besides, usually what happens on these things is something like this. Uh, we have this flag, this pullback, and we break out, and then we're going to come back and test anyway. So if I would have bought it today, the reality is I could probably buy it in a couple days for about the same price, and I've got a much better chart pattern, a chart pattern that I can sleep well at night over. So I'm really kind of glad that uh, I didn't buy it, but I do like the chart an awful lot. Um, here's a nice chart. And by the way, I noticed that a lot of the uh, travel and leisure uh, type stocks uh, really stepped up today. And uh, they're doing pretty well. Uh, a member in the uh, trading room pointed uh, Hilton out here. And uh, man, that's doing great. Look how that thing is rallied up over the 50 period moving average above the trend line or the um, trend indicator above the t-line look how it went flat and then we got this big old bullish engulf in here here we broke out and now we're pulling back and doing the test here look at that volume this is a nice chart uh, i'm going to look forward to maybe buying this one uh, but it's going to have to you know set up the way i want to set it up i'm not going to chase it uh, i'm not going to get involved with that fear of missing out because i know that if i miss this chart there's another one that we can find not too concerned about it. Uh, so anyway, in this area here, even on a breakout, I'll look at buying that. And uh, again, we'll put the stop in at the uh, appropriate place when uh, if we end up buying it. All righty. Thank you, everybody. Thank you very much. Thanks for all your comments. I appreciate that. Thanks to everybody in the trading room. Uh, I want to remind you, if you've not uh, subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do so. And uh, if you're interested in a 30-day trial with uh, Hit and Run Candlesticks and learning more about how we trade the Road to Wealth account, just check below. There'll be a link down there uh, for the 30-day uh, trial. All righty. Thank you, everybody. Have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful evening. Uh, be safe, and we'll see you all tomorrow. Take care.